Good morning, everyone. Super happy that you are joining us today. I am going to record this because I think we'll be covering enough information. People are probably going to want to come back to this. I'm also going to go Facebook Live with this because um, my intention is for every person possible to be able to hear the information that we're sharing today. We're going to be talking a lot about um, what it means to have endurance, performance, um, to be able to live life aging gracefully with a healthy body. And I've got a guest star today, Michael Walski, who is with me. And so we're going to have some fun together today as we have conversation, but I'm going to start out and talk a little bit about some of the things I'm really passionate about when it comes to health and wellness and obviously the aging process, because let's be real, we're all going to age, right? I mean, it's not something we can avoid. So very good. So guys, in getting started today, I just want to open this up, first of all, um, by sharing a little bit of information about um, myself and what got me started on this journey. So it's really important, I think, for people to understand that um, we have a lifetime, you know, to make choices and set standards and develop habits and develop rituals and all of that. And for me, you know, starting out in, in my journey with being a healthier person, my background started with organizational communications, public relations and psychology. And many of you have met me before, you know, I'm, I'm always encouraging to be healthier and to take care of yourself and all of those fun things. However, some of the things you don't know about me maybe is that I am a Wisconsin farm girl, you know, so I grew up in the country and we grew up learning good work ethic and how to work hard. And uh, we moved over to the Appleton, Wisconsin area. I am the mother of three adult children, a grandma of four and the wife of one. My background in organizational communications, public relations and psychology um, led me to a career where I was working with people with developmental disabilities, which eventually led me to wanting to take a further look into holistic health and wellness. And that led me to my decision to really take this on as a full-time journey. And it's been 24 years. I'm in my 25th year of working as a weight management coach, a nutraceutical consultant, working from a therapeutic level with nutritional supplementation and a certified product specialist. So let's start off by just talking about a, a little bit about aging. You know, aging well really requires the best building blocks and knowing how to strategically plan through this. So as we age, our risk for numerous health conditions is going to increase. I mean, this isn't rocket science, right? We understand this. This includes our risk for cognitive decline, cardiovascular deterioration, poor cell regulation. And I think while part of our increased risk is due to poor lifestyle choices, another part of it is due to increased risk is due to declining metabolism as we age. And I think so often we just accept this as this is the way it is. This is life. However, when you look at some of the evidence behind this and the studies that are done, especially in the studies with twins, we're finding out that only 20 to 30 percent of an individual's lifespan is actually related to genetics. So that kind of throws that excuse out the window, because so often don't you hear people say, well, this is the way it was for my mom and dad or this is just the way our family is or it's you know, this is just genetic. However, what we know now is that the majority, somewhere around 70% of what goes on is really our behaviors, our environmental factors has to do with nutrition and lifestyle. So if we made different choices, could that lead to aging well? Absolutely, it could. So there is a huge paradigm shift and you're noticing it more and more as people start to move into the baby boomer stage. They're really wanting to take care of themselves. You know, hormones may decline with age, our hormones don't decline, however, because we age. And again, I think we have reversed a lot of these thought patterns in order to make ourselves feel more comfortable about what's happening instead of looking at the reality of what can we do to prevent or support ourselves better. We age because our hormone production declines due to the lifestyle choices we make. Look at how sedentary, sedentary we are compared to what we used to be. Think about years ago, you know, even me growing up on the farm. I mean, we're so active. You know, by quarter to 5 a.m., you were out in the barn, you're shoveling, you're raking, you're pushing, you're pulling, right? You're lifting, you're carrying, and then off to school and, and go to school a day and come home to do it again. Very active, right? Now, most of what we do allows us to sit in a chair and just be immobile. The overall deterioration of the body that comes with growing old, old is not inevitable. We now realize that so many aspects could have been and can be still prevented or reversed. 
So did you know there's 360 joints in the human body? I don't know about you, but if this is not something you studied in school, like my guest today, you're not really thinking about all the aspects of that. You just think, okay, that's my elbow. That's my knee. That's my hip. Do you realize how much goes into just the joints in your body? Cartilage, synovial membranes, ligaments, tendon, bursa, synovial fluid, and the meniscus. You know, we hear these things like, oh, I think I pulled a tendon. I think I tore a ligament. You know, my meniscus is torn. And we say those things, but we, do we really understand the intricacy of the joint? See, bones, muscles, ligaments, tendons all work together. That's what allows us to exercise, to move, to bend, to twist, to play with our grandkids. The ends of your bone are covered in a real thin layer of smooth tissue, and this is called cartilage. You've all heard of cartilage before. In fact, usually I hear people say, it's bone on bone. I ain't got no cartilage left. That may be the case in some situations. However, if you have any cartilage left, then there is hope that we can do some things yet to reverse the damage that's been done. So it, it makes it very slippery. So it's kind of like a cushion. And then around most of your joints is a joint capsule. And in the capsule is this very thick fluid. And that fluid nourishes and, and lubricates the joint so that it can move nicely. Ligaments hold the joints together by joining bone to bone. The muscles are attached to the bones by your tendons and your muscles, when they contract, they are what's pulling the bone to make that joint move. So a lot more intricate than probably you're expecting me to get into today. But listen, I've got a personal certified trainer with me. I, I need to I need to act like I know something here. Right. So so you say to me, well, Shelly, how do I know that this is not just natural aging? Like, doesn't everybody hurt? Actually, from the majority of my conversations and all the consultations that I do, yeah, it sure does seem like everybody hurts. Do I think that that's normal? I don't think that that's normal. I think that means that we have deficiencies that we're not willing to maybe take a look at or haven't been taught well enough how to look at those. So what might you be looking for if you're questioning your joint health? Are you having pain? Are your joints tender to the touch? Does it take you a while to get moving, cracking and clicking and grating when you get moving? What about flexibility in your joints? Obesity, obviously, or being overweight is going to put more pressure on that joint. The work you do is going to have an impact on your joints. You know, years and years and years, like me teaching fitness boot camps for, you know, 11 years, kickboxing and just killing my body. And then on top of it, taking CrossFit training in the midst of that. So I was just killing my body and very high impact, um, but very ineffective for what my goals were. So I think, you know, when I bring on our guest today, he can have some conversation with you about that. That's important to understand that we need to be able to work out for where our body is at in the season we're living in. So do you have a history of joint pain or does your family have a history of joint pain? That might, again, that 20 to 30% of genetics may play a role. There is only one product on the market that I have found that actually really supports this mobility and the fluidity within our joint, and that is called an anti-aging prime joint formula. What is unique about this product is that we've combined the glucosamine, the hyaluronic acid, but this pycnogenol from the 30-year-old maritime pine bark tree is what makes it so unique in the isotonic delivery. And we'll talk a little bit about that. I want you to see an actual graph of how that works. But when you hear pycnogenol, be thinking plant-based. This plant-based antioxidant is a superpower antioxidant. There are over 420 scientific publications on this ingredient alone, 40 years of research, 160 clinical studies, 10,000 people involved in these studies. And here's what we found. Very powerful antioxidant goes after all those free radicals that are rusting you from the inside out. Binds to the collagen elastin and helps regenerate hyaluronic acid. We know hyaluronic acid is very good for the joint. It's also good for the skin. Acts as a natural anti-inflammatory without the side effects of tearing up your stomach lining and supports healthy blood circulation. So we have seen tremendous results with this ingredient pycnogenol. We know that people who are aging oftentimes think they need to take in less. Maybe they don't need as much food, but they certainly need more, more nutrients. So we do need, if we want to age well, to support our body more from a nutritional standpoint. Some of that has to do with absorption, some has to do with digestion processes, and some of it has to do with major deficiencies. 
chronic stress is an issue. I think we can all agree, right? I mean, just throw it in the chat. If you're one of those people and every time you turn around, somebody says, I'm stressed, I'm anxious, I'm depressed, I'm worried, I have fear, I have mood imbalances, right? You know somebody who has these issues and what are we seeing as a result? You're the person's walking around with that little spare tire, right? I've got that spare tire, that spare tire that when you pull on your jeans, your cute jeans, and you're like, I don't want that roll to hang over. That typically, that visceral fat has to do with two things. One, menopause is going to play a role in that. But two, chronic stress is going to play a huge role because your stress hormones are so elevated. You find difficulty with sleeping. This is going to weaken your immune system. Guys, you're living in fight or flight 24 seven. You can only function so long like that before you're going to have burnout. I'm actually going to do a talk in January on resiliency because we are seeing such a rate of burnout in this country. Your muscles and bones and cognitive health are all going to function at a lower level when you're living in a chronic stress mode. So we need to start, we need to start thinking about muscle mass and what does this have to do with the aging process? By nature, three to 8% of muscle mass is going to be lost after age 30. By the time you hit age 60, there is a really steep decline. Again, does this have to be so? Can we slow this process? Can we prevent some of that? Many people are proving the answer is yes. 16 to 18% and 8 to 10% of men in the U.S. over age 65 can't even lift 10 pounds or more. They're struggling to stoop down. They're struggling to kneel down. And I'm going to tell you guys, I see a lot of people in their 20s are having the same thing. I've never seen anything quite like what I'm seeing in the last couple of years. And I think part of it is chronic stress, fear, and sedentary lifestyle. So we're here today, today to talk a little bit more about exercise and the psychology behind wanting to age well and be graceful. So exercise is currently the only effective option for decreasing for the decrease in muscle mass. Exercise is the answer. Many of you, when you hear that word, you're like, la, 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 like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it again. Then call it fitness, call it wellness, call it whatever word feels okay with you. But the bottom line is we need to move our mass. We need to move our mass if we want to be well. With age, our muscles are going to experience atrophy. With sedentary lifestyle, our muscles are going to experience atrophy. So we need to fight back on that. Muscle function is going to decrease unless we fight back. You're going to get a decrease in strength and a decrease in power. Sarcopenia and dynopenia, well-known facts within the world of personal training. The other thing I will tell you is the gentleman that I'm about to introduce today also has a background in psychology. So interesting that we both come from that background. We both see the psychology in being well and setting yourself up for a good, healthy life. I think where this study came from, there are so many more studies to support it. So please do your own research. But this was just one study that came out from the US National Library of Medicine National Institutes. And this was in 2017, looking at exercise versus antidepressants. In this study, the conclusion was that every study they did reported exercise and the standard antidepressant treatments were equally effective. So taking an antidepressant or exercising, you pick. One may have side effects. The other also has side effects, but exercise only positive side effects. And that's what we need to look at. So I'm going to introduce today a new friend of mine. He went to Xavier High School, so right here in the Appleton, Wisconsin area. He went on to UW-Madison to get his degree in psychology. He is a certified personal trainer and incorporating all of his skill sets into that. He is the owner of Making Waves Fitness. He is the oldest of four boys in his family and comes from a very supportive family. He values fitness, science, art, health, and life. Please, everyone, help me welcome, throw it in the chat, show him some love, Michael Wolski. Oh. Hey, welcome. everybody. Welcome, welcome, Michael. Thank you for having me on your show, Kelly. Absolutely. I feel like we're doing a major podcast together today. So this is what the professionals look like when they do podcasts. They sit in coffee shops with ring lights. That's how cool we are. Yes. So, Michael, I want to ask, I, I know you're going to share some good things with us today, but I want to ask a couple of questions because I, I think for the audience that's listening, a lot of people can relate to two things. One, I want a personal trainer, but don't you have to be super cool and kind of fit to even go get a personal trainer? I'm scared about that. So what's your response to that? If somebody says, I would like to reach out, 
but I'm really fearful that either I would be judged or I would look silly or they would question, what are you doing here? You're like 80 pounds overweight. What is your response to that person? Yeah, I would say one of the most important things when beginning a fitness program is finding the right community of people because people are different. Some, some may judge you and make you feel uncomfortable, but the right community, they're going to support you no matter where you're starting. And I feel really blessed to have been welcomed to be a trainer at Evolve Fitness Club in Appleton. Maria Munoz Lindsley started this gym just in September of this year. And the clients and members, the trainers, they're so, so nice. And everybody brings something to the table. Like I came in with a bunch of experience weight training, but I've already learned to start doing cardio every day. There's people involved in nutrition and hormones. And I just, I feel completely blessed to be in this community and the supportive nature of it really helps me maintain this habit and, and stick to my goals and have short-term goals and long-term goals. Michael, I, and I think that's huge. And I'm glad that you're able to share that with everyone, because I, I do think that from my experience with you so far, you really are very kind. I have never felt like you're the person that's going to sit and judge someone. I think you would welcome and respect anybody where they're at. Um, one of the questions that I had for you today is just really looking at where you're at in life. I mean, what even what even pr prompted you to want to move into this direction? Like, what made you decide? Okay, psychology background, personal training. What brought you to this place? So yeah, like you said, I. I earned my degree in psychology from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And before I became a trainer, I worked at Rawhide with at-risk boys. And one of, the, one of the most favorite things to do with them was lift weights or play sports. Like moving your body is natural. And weightlifting is one way to just get in tune with, get in tune with your body. Because like Shelly said, the, the modern world doesn't require you to move very much. Like a person can sit behind a computer and have all their needs met, have food delivered to them, have entertainment delivered to them. Um, you just, you solve problems with your mind, you're, you're, but the, the physical body adapts to what, to what is it, what it does. So it, when you're starting a program, it may be a little difficult in the beginning, but you can trust your body. You're, that it's going to adapt to what you put it up to. So if you start training with weights and all different types of exercises, your body is slowly going to adapt to be better at lifting weights. And the natural consequence of that is that your, your physique and your aesthetic, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna look good. You, you can be proud um, of the progress you make. And that's a key point right there. And I know I'm going to ask you more questions as we go along because it's just who I am and you'll probably end up popping a couple on me too. But but I think that is the key right there is um, progress. You know, I think oftentimes we think when we walk in the gym, we should already be fit and perfect. Uh, that's kind of defeats the purpose. That's kind of against the point. So, you know, one of the funny things is Michael and I, you know, we're a little different in age, not that anybody cares or knows, <laughs> especially on Zoom because somehow we don't have wrinkles on Zoom. <laughs> but I believe the second half of one's life is meant to be better than the first half. I really do. And, you know, I was telling a good friend of mine, Madison, this morning, I said, I would never want to go back to those days. I am so grateful to God for everything that has happened in my life. I embrace it all. It's all part of who I am now, uh, but I wouldn't go back for anything. I'm in the second half and, you know, we need to find out. I think the first half, it's like finding out how you do it. The second half is enjoying it. So you're still finding out how to do life. And I'm just enjoying it, Michael. I'm kidding. <laughs> the reason I tell you, the reason I tell you all of this is because I think so often, and this, this becomes a frustration. I'm going to be honest. This is a frustration for me in the real world is the comment when people say, we got to die from something. Well, everybody else is eating it. Why? Well, you know what? And I just, I, for every give me, there's a gotcha, you know, continue to make the choices but be ready to face the consequences. What I mean by this, because you can mess around now and play around with your health and pay for it later, or you can invest in your health right now and the rest of your life actually enjoy it. Like enjoy the second half. So yeah. some people say they're into fitness, don't they? Like, I'm sure you've heard this before, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it's a dog, right? Yeah, I'm into fitness, fitness, whole pizza in my mouth. I mean, that's that's really, I think, what a lot of people they they're like, and and you know, we laugh, we laugh because it's funny, right? 
But there comes a point where sometimes it's not so funny. And you know when it's not so funny? When the people you love who made the choices they did are now suffering and you're there to love and support them through it. But every part of you is saying, dear God, why didn't I do something sooner? Why didn't I try before? This is a piece I want to pull you in on, Michael, because this is where we really connected is the supplementation that I carry within our health professional practices and I'm able to offer to the lay person is something extremely unique to anything else out there. This is a patented technology called isotonic, meaning same as. And it was fun because when I was talking with Michael the other day, he had done his research and he looked into this. So what did you discover about what isotonics means, Michael? Well, yeah, that was one of the first questions I had for you. I'm like, what does isotonics even mean? Yeah. And Shelly explained to me that it means equal pressure. And the unique thing about this isotonic supplement line and why I, I wanted to start offering it to my clients too is because like each morning I started the same way that I take one of the daily essentials packets, which includes a multivitamin, OPC3, which is that technogenal um, antioxidant. It includes activated B complex and activated calcium supplement. And the unique thing about this patented isotonics formula is that you ingest it on an empty stomach and it goes right through your stomach. It's not digested the way I understand it. And or it's pre-digested. Pre-digested. Yep. yep. And the small intestine will absorb 90 to 98 percent of it within five to 10 minutes. And that's just not the case with other vitamins you can find at the store. This is a unique formula and that's why I'm excited to, to take it every day and, and support my body and my lifestyle. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I, you guys give him some applause for those of you that understand isotonics. And for those of you who don't, well, you just got an excellent explanation of why this is unique, why it's a patented technology. But for those of you that understand isotonics or have gotten great results, Go ahead and throw that in the chat or throw that in on Facebook, because I think people need to understand it is not what you take. It is what you absorb. Listen, I'll give you a good example. Michael, let me ask you this. If you came to me and you said, Shelly, I really think your body is low in iron. So I brought you a nail today. Would you take this nail? <laughs> and I will take that nail and I will try to chew it up probably ineffectively and swallow it down. Would you say at that point, because that is iron, I have fulfilled my iron deficiency? Uh, I think swallowing a nail would be a little dangerous. <laughs> But the right answer to this, Michael, you can tell we didn't hear this ahead of time. The right answer is no, Shelly, you didn't fulfill your deficiency. Why? Because it's not absorbed. Yes. yes. There. So I put you on the spot and you did very well. You passed the test. So yeah, because it's not absorbed. So it's not what you take. It is. And I, I realize that's an extreme example, but it is the truth. It's no different than you guys out there that are buying these cheap, buy one, get one free, stupid Oops, shouldn't say stupid. I mean, silly multivitamins that it's got the label, but it's also got the carcinogens, the dyes and the binders and the fillers that don't serve your body as well. You're not breaking it down. You're not absorbing it. In fact, I'm kind of glad you're not because oftentimes those things become excitogens and they do more harm than they do good. The carcinogens are cancer causing agents and they're in almost every multivitamin out there, including Flintstones. So guys, we need to be aware that it really does pay to look into the quality. Now, one of the products I just recently introduced Michael to as a personal trainer is the product called Prime. And whenever you see Prime, just think anti-aging. That is part of our anti-aging division. Does it mean you need to be aging or feeling older to take it? No, this is an excellent product to support muscle retention. It's gonna help support memory, muscle fatigue, any type of inflammation that's going on in the body. So it'll support you before, during, and after your workouts. Cognitive performance. You know, think about someone, I've got a gal who has multiple sclerosis and she uses this product every single day to support her body in the tremors that she experiences. She has tremendous results with this and won't go without it. That goes right into being able to have good memory, good cognition, good muscle retention and strength and performance and the antioxidants in there to help you from rusting from the inside out. So I look at this one as an overall muscle, heart, cardiovascular, blood flow and nerve conduction product. This is a power product, and I'm going to guess this is one that if you really understand the power behind branched chain amino acids, strength and endurance, this is what's going to lead to healthy aging. Michael, do you, do you talk often about branched chain amino acids, or is there anything that you do within that realm? 
Yeah. Um, before talking about BCAAs, could I make a comment about the Please do. longevity? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, um, anti-aging might not even be the best way to describe it. More so aging gracefully. Like we have a numerical age, but y'all probably know some like 60 year olds who look and act like they're in their forties. And you probably know some 60 year olds who look and act like they're in their eighties. So you get the you get the the rings on the tree, the laps around the sun, you know, like the numerical age, but your your physical body is going to adapt to whatever lifestyle you create for yourself and however you properly support that with the right supplements. So now moving on to the next thing is BCAAs. Yeah. Yeah. Branch chain amino acids um, are the building blocks of protein. So I personally... I take a whey supplement because it includes all the essential amino acids um, that like after a workout, it's really important to nourish the body with BCAAs so it can rebuild muscle stronger because um, when you're working out, it is causing the muscles, they just cause like a me mechanical stress, mechanical tension on the muscles and they, they want to adapt and build themselves up stronger, but they need the they need the ingredients, the nourishment in order to do so. To rebuild. Yeah. Do you do anything before your workouts? Like drink anything or eat anything? What do you recommend before the workout? Well, the first thing I do every day is the daily essentials. Okay. And so you then, get some vitamins in there. Uh -huh. Okay. And depending on when my workout is, I like to eat a, like a breakfast, you know, like get the basics, low glycemic carbs, fat good fats um proteins so for example like toast with guacamole uh the millennial stereotype but it's it's really good uh eggs salsa and then if you got some like venison or quality meats that also gives energy for the body for a really productive workout you eat very well very balanced and i love that consistent like That's the same same thing all the time. It's exactly what I was hoping you would say. And, and, you know, I think, Michael, that's another thing we come across. I'm a certified weight management coach and so many clients, they continually talk about the entertainment of their food. Like it's boring, but, they, and I just think that's because we have learned as a society to use our food to entertain ourselves instead of fuel and nourishment for the body. And you and I, I mean, we understand like food is our nourishment, our fuel so that we function and run well, so that we find balance in life. It is not supposed to, it was never meant to be the form of entertainment, which in Wisconsin, it's worse than anywhere, I think. Like, this is what we do. Oh, what you doing this weekend? Going out to eat? I mean, that's really what it's about. So, I mean, cheese curds are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so are brats and beer. So, what, what can I do? So the truth comes out. I go, we just lost our whole audience. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> kidding no but this i told you guys that we need to be real and authentic and genuine because the truth the truth is we're not looking for anybody in this life to be perfect we want people to just be progressively processing through their journey to be better than they were before so be the best version of yourself and we all understand this so every day making choices this is actually a, a product that is a roll-on and a lot of people use, you know, biofreeze and things like that. Nothing against any of those things. I have found the greatest relief in this. And many of you know, my dad was in a horrific um, accident um, back in August and he broke his back. His neck is just still, I mean, really messed up. And when I'm there, this is what I roll on because it has some really good natural ingredients like hemp and aloe and thymoquin, which means that we actually have the pycnogenol in there. We have black cumin seed in there. We have aloe in there and hemp. So we're actually doing something that's very fast acting and it's long lasting and it does bring about instant results. You can roll this on your knees, you can roll it on your shoulders, you can roll it on your neck, um, but this would be a, a really nice natural way to support your body and its health. So next thing I wanted to talk about is a lot of us, we're looking at two things. We wanna age gracefully. And I like the way Michael said that. I think that's a huge point. And we also want to make sure that we are as lean as we can possibly be, that our body composition is good, right? That when we're looking at muscle to fat ratio, that it's healthy. I can tell you, um, we have genetic testing with this line. And in the genetic testing, um, I wasn't shocked to see, but sad to see 
that I have the markers for childhood, adolescent, and adult obesity. I have the gene expressions for heart disease, for arterial wall breakdown, for stress and emotional health. And I have the MTHFR gene, which there is a nickname for that, which I cannot say on camera. However, what that gene means is that I really absolutely struggle with detoxification and with absorption of B vitamins. But guess what? 80% of the population struggles with those things. So that's why when Michael said, I hope you all pick that up, he said methylated, activated B complex, because that's the form we need if we're going to get results with stress, energy, focus, irritability. When it comes to hormone function, the last thing I want to ever encourage is that you're injecting yourself with any type of hormone. Many celebrities out there are taking actual HGH, but what they're doing is teaching their body that it doesn't need to produce its own HGH, and they're eventually going to age horrifically as a result. We want to encourage your body to do the work on its own by giving it at a cellular level what it needs. This is a product that I want to talk about. It's going to help with body mass, cell regeneration, immunity, bone density, the breakdown of fat and using that for energy, and then restoring your body composition. This product is a state-of-the-art cutting edge used typically by somebody that's really looking to gain a lot of muscle quickly, somebody's looking to change their body composition, or somebody's looking to reverse the hands of time and support the aging process. It has a load of amino acids, which are going to support everything from mental to physical. This one is called a secretive gag, meaning it goes to the pituitary gland and says, wake up, like you need to start producing a little more of this youth hormone. This is a person that wants to age gracefully. This is a person that wants to be healthy. So this really is cutting edge. My husband is not here with us, but he has a great testimony when we used to run a gym. Um, he had a couple guys in there, you know, and, and he's got a little bit of a competitive nature in him as well. He's like, I can't believe I can't outlift these guys. Anybody who knows my husband, he's built like a monster and he's, you know, a concrete finisher and, um, you know, just really, really has a, a fit lean body. However, um, there were guys obviously outlifting him. He started on this product and within two weeks, he was outlifting the other guys. This is a supplement that if you're under age 18, you know, work with your physician or a wellness expert. But if you have children who are struggling with height, this will actually help them to grow because it's increasing their growth hormone. This product is meant to be taken for people who are looking to improve uh, the aging process, lean muscle, and it really can reverse, but it must be taken correct. And this is something, Michael, if you bring this up with any of your clients, this product is an absolute waste of your money if you don't take it right. It needs to be taken either about a half hour, 45 minutes before you go to sleep because when you fall to sleep about 45 minutes later and you get into that deep REM sleep, your HGH gets to a peak. We want this product to be peaking with it. When you get done with the workout, HGH comes to a peak. We want this to be with you. So after a workout would be good on an empty stomach, give it a little time just to be uptaken so it does its job. And then you can go ahead and eat and do your, your whey protein shake and everything. So this is a really, really unique product for cardiovascular, for strength. Um, for reversing aging, but it's typically used, I would say, by that client who's very, very serious about reversing the aging process. Magnesium. I don't think there's a trainer I've ever met doesn't recommend magnesium. I actually, I've heard a lot of good things about magnesium. Personally, I don't really know much about the details about it. Though. Well, you're about to learn, Michael Wolski. You're okay. about to learn. So magnesium is something I recommend. It doesn't matter what age you are. And here's why. It is a super mineral. Minerals and our trace minerals is what takes everything else to where it needs to go in the body. So this is a nutrient every single person needs. If you feel stressed, you need magnesium. If your muscles are atrophied, you need magnesium. If your heart, maybe you've got AFib or irregular heartbeat, magnesium can support that. It relieves pain, it improves sleep, it improves mood, it lowers your risk of diabetes, helps with stress and muscle tension. People with ringing ears, people with muscle cramps, you lay down at night and your, your muscles are twitching, that's a magnesium deficiency. You get the Charlie horses, I call them. Do people call them that? Charlie horses? Do you know what I mean when I say that? Cramps? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the farm, it was a Charlie horse, okay? I don't know why we call it a Charlie horse or where that name came from, but could somebody look that up for me and throw it in the chat? 
why do we call it a Charlie horse when all of a sudden we get that unbelievable muscle that cramps up and you feel like there's nothing you can do and you're pulling your toes in and doing everything possible? Yeah. Oh, maybe that's an aging, maybe it's an old person thing. Hydration also helps. <laughs> Hydration really helps with that as well. And half the time you go to a chiropractor and what they're going to tell you is, you know, if you drink water, this probably wouldn't be an issue, you know? So yes, my husband, oh, we'll go there some other day, but getting that guy to drink a glass of water a day is a miracle. Kidney stones and fatigue. So you can all agree, even just looking at a little bit of information on magnesium and knowing that 60% of us are deficient in magnesium, this could be one very inexpensive investment into your health. So if you feel stressed, if you feel tense, if you're struggling to sleep, if your muscles are hurting, that's a great thing. This is one we both really agree on. Yeah. You know, omega-3 is I preach omega-3. I preach it mostly because I work with a lot with mental health, um, but I also have a lot of inflammation or inflammatory response to certain foods in my body. So I want to support my joints. I want to support my gut lining. And I also want to support myself neurologically. This is my answer. Mm -hmm. This is my answer for my teenage um, boys and girls that are struggling with anxiety, suicidal thoughts, ideations, OCD, ADD, ADHD. You need to take the right amount though. Okay, knowing that there are 3000 milligrams of EPA and DHA in this product in one day serving should help you to understand why it's set apart from any competitor. This is a trademark essential omega-3, pure potency, young fish, clean water. Yes, it supports cholesterol. Yes, it supports inflammatory response. Certainly it's gonna help with blood pressure and cardiovascular health. But what I think people don't realize, it's also huge for neurological and mental function. Are there certain reasons that you love omega-3? I should ask that. Generally, I take it for brain, heart, and joint health, but I'm sure there are more benefits. Yeah, and Michael, I think you're gonna see more and more most of the people I work with, I have go-to products when it comes to stress management and mental health, vitamin D3, which we're going to talk about next, mm -hmm. omega-3 and B-complex in the activated form. Those three are typically because they are major deficiencies in our population. But as we're, you know, those of us that live in the colder climate, as we're moving into the winter season right now, how many of you by show of chat, how many of you have actually seen an increase in the people around you in their depression levels suddenly? You know, we always say, oh, it must be the holidays. Are, for real? I mean, the holidays should be a time of joy, right? It should be a time of, of, of you know, people feeling happy together. But instead, instead, our vitamin D levels are becoming deficient. So we feel more stressed. Everything feels more overwhelming. We're not able to cope with things. We feel depressed and we don't understand why. Seasonal affect disorder is real. However, it's a very easy fix vitamin D3 in the isotonic form. Now, many of you know, vitamin D is known as a hormone more than it is a vitamin now. So be aware that every single cell in your body requires vitamin D3 just in order to function from a cellular level. So I'm going to say that one more time. So you hear me on this. None of us can go without vitamin D3. Every one of us has to have it in every cell every day to function without deficiency. If you don't, you will feel deficient. And that's when you're going to start to see fatigue, tiredness, depression, low immune system. You get sick often. Memory's not there. Cognition's not there. I'm telling you guys, I mean, when you take a good calcium and a good vitamin D3, and this is where I think, Michael, the vitamin D3 in the gym is very effective is vitamin D3 with K2, and we do have the K2 in there. The reason we put that in there is because one, we understand a lot of people take calcium, very common supplement. You take calcium, but does the calcium ever get down into the bone? Not if you have insufficient levels of vitamin D3, because D3 takes it to the blood, the K2 in there takes it to the bone. Don't confuse this friends with K1. K1, yes, we all know that if you're on blood thinners, that if you take a lot of K1, it could interfere. But if you are not on blood thinners, um, you know, you don't have to worry about either, but the K2 does not have that effect. So even physicians tend to not know that information, but that is the truth. So in closing today, um, the final quote that I would like to share with you on behalf of myself and Michael is of all the self-fulfilling prophecies in our culture, the assumption that aging means decline and poor health is probably the deadliest. 
we learned today, I hope, as you were listening, a lot about the fact that there's things we can be doing to prevent and to have better health. So um, in closing, Michael, I'm going to ask if there's anything that you would like to share about um, either what's unique about you, what your niches are with your training programs. And also one of the biggest questions that I have for you is, can somebody just reach out to you and just set up a consultation? Yes. Okay. So I specialize in weight training, specifically the, the traditional bodybuilding techniques. Um, there is a lot more to fitness, like CrossFit, strongman training, cardiovascular training, high intensity interval training, but I specialize in traditional weightlifting for, like in the body, bodybuilding tradition. And yes, I do take free consultations. So if you're interested, the email address listed here, mcwalski95 at makingwavesfitness.com. Go ahead and email me. Um, if you're in the Appleton area or close by, we can set something up and I could show you Evolve Fitness, Evolve Fitness Club in Appleton. And I'm sure you will like it. But uh, looking forward to hearing from you and thanks for, for your attention today. Absolutely. You know, if, if you're a little fearful yet and you're just afraid maybe to do that reach out, then just uh, we could certainly send out a survey or, um, you know, there's little quizzes that you can take and allow the algorithms within the nutritional you know program that we carry, allow that to support you in what might be good suggestions for your regimen. But I'm just going to encourage you guys reach out, you know, just say, hey, can we just have a conversation because we're not going to bite you. We're not going to bite. No, this is support. This is your body. This is one of the, one of the most impactful statements I heard from a friend at the gym was at the gym, you're building, you're building the home, the house or the home that you always live in. Like this is, this is the place we spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, it's important. Yeah, it is important. And, and I think, you know, you're looking at two people that we take our health very seriously. We also take your health very seriously. And uh, we love and respect you exactly where you're at. And we're ready to meet you where you're at. So thanks for all your time and attention today. See you guys.